Hey all dear students, this is Brijesh Chaudhary, your quantum group. This video I am going to talk about what circular disk and derive its equation the parametric form. So what is a circular? Suppose a wheel is rolling without slipping on a fixed platform and if I pinned any point on its circumference and uh, follow the trajectory of that point and then that trajectory is what circular disk. So circular is a curve traced by a point on a circle as it rolls along a straight line without slipping. So let's proceed to derive its equation in the parametric form. So this is the picture of a wheel. This is rolling without slipping on a fixed platform. There's a trajectory uh, followed by point on the circumference. That's what the cycloid is. The wheel is rolling with a center mass velocity V, angular velocity omega, radius of the wheel is R. So V R omega R written by the solution V is equal to R omega as we know. So uh, suppose this moment is t is equal to 0, at t is equal to 0, uh, the point of contact with the ground, I am taking that the origin, this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. And let's mark this point of the wheel and actually this is the trajectory of this point. Uh, also join this point with the center uh, by this line as the wheel is rolling this line rotates with the same angular velocity as that of the wheel. So now at a later moment say time t, the center has translated up to here, uh, the disk because it is moving with a uniform velocity v. So in time interval t, it will traverse a distance vt. And now with the wheel, this point of the, traject, this point of the circumference whose trajectory is equation we have to find has come up to this point. So uh, the point has come here and let's assume that its coordinates are x comma y at time t. And so this line has also rotated by some angle. So in time t, uh, initially it was here and with respect to initial position, it has rotated by some angle say theta. Because it is uh, rolling with a constant angular velocity omega, so in time t angle rotated by this line is theta is equal to omega t. So t can be written as uh, theta by omega. And now what we want to do, I just have extended this line and this is a perpendicular from this point to this line. So let me assume this angle is say phi and this radius is r. So this thing is r sine phi. And see, this phi is 180 minus theta, so sine phi is sine 180 minus theta, that is sine theta. So this length is r sine theta, and this length is r cos phi. And once again, phi is 180 minus theta, and cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So this length is minus r cos theta. And see, this theta shown in the diagram is obtuse. So cos theta is negative so that this minus r cos theta is positive. So this, this is the length has to be positive and this length is minus r cos theta. And sine theta is positive even for the obtuse. So this length is also uh, positive. So now this x coordinate at the time t is uh, this length. This is the x coordinate and this x coordinate is nothing but uh, this uh, from here to here. This is a vt. And from this vt, if I subtract this distance, which is r sin theta, I will get the x coordinate. So x coordinate is vt minus r sin theta. And uh, v is how much? v is uh, r omega and t is theta by omega. So this omega, omega will cancel. So x will become r theta minus r sin theta. So take uh, r common. So x is equal to r comma. Uh, theta minus sine theta that is uh, x coordinate in terms of parameter theta. Now y coordinate is also very simple at time t this is the y coordinate. So this length is the y coordinate so, and you can see this y is the sum of this r and this is r minus r cos theta. So y is equal to r plus minus r cos theta. So take r common r into 1 minus cos theta. So uh, we have derived the parametric. So this is the x equal to r into theta minus sine theta and y is equal to r into 1 minus cos theta is the 
parametric equation of a cycloid in terms of parameter theta. Thank you.